My vision for this project, as it came up, I, I had been writing a lot of music, so I really wanted to do my own music, um, and I wanted to do it with this trio that I've been playing with off and on for the last four or five years, uh, Rogerio Boccato on drums and percussion and Joseph Lepore on bass. My name is Joseph Lepore. I was born in the United States um, and I grew up in Italy. My name is Rogerio Boccato. I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I uh, always thought we had a really nice symmetry in terms of the music and they really sort of understood the flexibility that I like to have in terms of a performance. Just letting things happen uh, as a group in the moment. You do like a bass interlude in between Dance Delicious and Dance of Hands, so that'll be like your open thing, do whatever you want to do. Paul gives us this sort of freedom, I and mean, he wants that kind of stuff. This, this is what he's looking for. And um, when you're ready, just go ahead and set up the, the groove on Dance of Hands. As a group, we like move organically, like a conversation, you don't if you're having this conversation, you say, okay, you have like 10 more seconds, you know, to finish the idea. It's like, wow, it's not natural. So when you let it flow, I really think we get to good things musically. And then Rogerio, you can start soloing on the head out. You just do your thing, whatever you, whatever you want to do. We didn't really go tune by tune. We were really trying to document much more of a live performance kind of an atmosphere in the studio. Recreate our sound which is based on a lot of freedom and really moving from one tune to the other like we do in live gigs. <laughs> Most people are used to, okay, this is this tune, and then we're going to play it, and now here's the next tune, and we're going to play it. When I do my live gigs, sometimes I'll play tunes in the middle of another tune. I want to do, start with Little Island, and then we'll do uh, Bird in the Sky. So it will actually start with the same figure. We will go very freely um, from one tune to another. So um, the three tunes are Little Island, Bird in the Sky. An open hand, yeah. And in between, we'll figure out a, a interlude of some kind. One tune will leap into another, and so on. Maybe three, four tunes. Oh, we're going into this, not this one. Okay. Yeah, this one, and then this one. This will be the last one. Oh, we did yeah. four back to back. We did sets of three tunes, or four tunes, back to back without any any break, and using some kind of an interlude to get improvised interlude to get from place to place. It was interesting the way he he conducts the whole thing, you know, very loose and very organically. This is sunset. So that gives a lot of room for us to, I mean, it breathes a lot, which I think is very important. Um, in, in a way, what comes to mind is how Miles Davis would record, like in the late 1960s, where he would just basically let the tape run, and if they found something they liked, they'd work with it. The experience that I think we're trying to create for the listener is one of continuity and surprise and also to really bring them on a journey 
going from tune to tune, and it takes special players to understand that. Thank mm -hmm. you.